Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin Kathleen. Um, in today's video, we are going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be doing a my first ever BoxyCharm review. Um, today we are going to be reviewing our June BoxyCharm. I know. June, Erin. Why, why would we be doing June? It's like the middle of July. I know. But I signed up super late at the end of June when I realized what was going to be in this box. I was just like... Yes, I need to start this. These are all full size stuff. Like I wanna buy pretty much everything in this box by itself anyway, so why spend all that money when I could just spend $21? Exactly, I don't know. So yeah, I am going to be reviewing my June BoxyCharm box and super excited about it. I haven't actually looked at any of this stuff, opened the box, like I opened it. But I haven't actually like swatched the shadows. I don't know what the lipstick looks like. Haven't opened the brush set yet. I'm super excited. So if you want to keep seeing this, obviously I did now because I already filmed the first part. <laughs> but if you want to know anything about BoxyCharm, well, you know what I know about BoxyCharm, or wanna see what the June box had in store, please stay tuned and yeah, let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open the box. You get this little card, which basically has like the whole theme of the box. And then it also um, basically tells you what's going to be inside of the box. So we're going to just go through it, maybe do some samples. And then I also want to do a look using the palette and like everything, but I kind of just wanted this one to be like a review um, and then probably do like a check back. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so first things first, you get this brush set by Luxie. Um, I'm gonna go back to this little guy because it tells you how much everything is. Okay, so the brush set from Luxie is a three piece flawless complexion brush set it has a precise foundation brush a tapered highlighting face brush and then a duo fiber powder brush and then this actually retails for 42 dollars now mind you every boxycharm box is 21 dollars um and these aren't like most of them and is what i've heard are like full full size things okay so like these this is like an actual brush set it is like they are not like mini miniature ones or whatever um and let's check them out and see them shall we cool. all right so these are what they look like they are pretty and a little pink they actually feel like like good material though too let me just look at my like they feel nice. They don't feel cheap. Like this is my Sigma brush. Obviously it's gonna be heavier because it's like larger, but like these are a little lighter, but this is actually like a nice little metal. The bristles are really soft. Yeah, I'm gonna like these. And who doesn't wanna get new brushes? Like I love brushes and they're so expensive. Like to get, to get good ones. All right. Moving on. So the next thing I'm gonna grab out of here is the lashes. And these are Baddington Monroe Silk Lashes. They're 3D multi-layered Monroe Silk Lashes. And these retail for $28. So this is the little box that it comes in. And when I was actually looking on their website, like BoxyCharm, um, because I bought this palette knowing what comes in it, like, or not, <laughs> not palette. I bought this box knowing what comes in it and that's why it really just like motivated me to start and try BoxyCharm because some of the stuff like I knew I wanted and like you know $21 versus buying these things separately for like way more it just made sense. Okay so but when I was looking at these online I didn't actually really like the style but like looking at them in person, they're really nice. They're really like wispy and fluttery. Like, I don't know, they look really good. Like on their website, I didn't think they looked that great, but these are actually really pretty lashes and I can't wait to wear them. They look more like every day, you know, they're really nice. They're just simple, fluffy, not super crazy lashes. So those are nice. And this little box is really cute too. 
so yay for batting to lashes so, so the next thing is this ofra let me look at this this ofra long lasting liquid lipstick and it is in the color verona this is really nice over cosmetics are really good so and this actually retails for $21 in itself it says it's uh, over a long-lasting liquid lipstick is a one step full of color that does not feather all right so let's do a swatch shall we oh it smells good it smells nice like kind of like candy like it smells familiar but all right, so that is the color. Honestly, it kind of reminds me. Let me go look. Okay, so honestly, I thought this was going to, rem this reminded me of like baked or like, but it actually doesn't. It's a lot more brown. So this is um, Brown Sugar by Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Verona by the Ofra that we got. And then this is, let me see. This is Baked by lip bland and then we got some this is uh beeper by colourpop and this one is candy k by kylie cosmetics i thought it reminded me of something and i thought it was one of these but then as i was swatching it it's a lot more brown so that's why i got all of those on there but let's move on so then the next thing is this jante blue i don't know if i'm saying that right <laughs> But this retails for $5. It's 100% vegan. It's a waterproof eyeliner pencil. And let me see. Let's see the gosh. It is in the color charcoal. So it's got like an actual sharpening pencil like that. And then let's look. Oh, so it feels kind of creamy. It feels nice. All right. And then that is what that looks like. So I am really awkward at my hand motions, <laughs> but okay. So the next two things are really the reason, I mean, besides the brushes, because who doesn't like to get new brushes and I really like Ofra. So anyway, but these next two things are really what just like pushed me over the edge to get and sign up for this palette. Um, all right. So the next thing is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. If you already haven't heard about this, like, I don't know where you've been. Like, because it's been all over social media, all over YouTube, all over Instagram. And just this little one, because there are larger containers. Um, this little guy retails for, let's see, it says $10. But the bigger ones are a lot more expensive. But she's just, it's a cute little thing, you know. All right, and it says Brazilian Bum Bum Cream is inspired by the Brazilian... Favorite feature, the bum bum. But I think it's pronounced boom boom, actually. But I call it bum bum because that's how I read it. But yeah, I think it's actually pronounced boom boom. Um, I think it said that on the website. And then it is, it is rich in guarana, guarana, a native Amazonian plant whose fruit contains one of the most potent forms of caffeine. Um, the fast absorbing texture contains just enough mica to add a perfect Brazilian glow as the formula helps your body look and feel its most, its smoothest and tightest. Pistachio caramel leaves skin delicately fragranced. So let's open this up and smell it. Great. Yeah. Ooh. I don't want to waste the bum bum cream. Oh, that smells actually really nice. Feels really nice too. I have such dry skin. Mm. I really like that. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to smell like that, but it smells really good. It honestly kind of reminds me, which is probably weird, but it reminds me of more like winter smelling which is so opposite of what it's you know meant for i think but like it smells really it smells really good warm and maybe that's why i think of winter but anyway i'm pretty sure the whole reason that it's caribbean queen themed is because all my cosmetics 
I believe um, her name is Olimar. Is that? Don't know. Um, but anyway, I believe the woman who created this palette actually works or worked for BoxyCharm and has now come out with her own cosmetic line. And this is the first part in that line. Um, and this is the Arena del Caribe palette. Um, it has eight highly opaque shades, reminiscent of the beauty and culture of Cuba, which is where she's from. So the founder's actual name is Gabriela, and Alamar is actually the city where she grew up in Cuba. Um, and it actually means stay close to the sea, and that is the whole reason that the boxy charm is the Caribbean queen themed. It is, I think, based on like her whole company and palette. So I think that's really cool. Um, so yeah, dive, it says dive into the pigments and pearls found in the intense metallics or grandeur look with warm richness of the creamy mattes. Oh, okay. That's cool. So it even has like a water droplet so it can like on here to show you if it can be used wet so that's really cool it's right by the names and i love this is such a cute palette like i've already seen you know seen what it looks like not in person this is the first time i've opened it but it comes with this little guy and this is what it looks like and this is really nice like parts of it are like built into this but then this part is like you know shiny it's actually really pretty and these shadows are gorgeous so we got these shimmer shades, all four up here, and then these are their matte shades. These are so beautiful. Like, these colors, I feel, are so in right now. And yes, yeah, so I cannot wait to play with them. Um, so yeah, up next is going to be a whole look using my boxy charm. But we're gonna get into that. All right, so how about some swatches here? Okay. So this is the first shimmer shade in the palette. I'm just taking my finger and I'm gonna draw it on my skin. This is the shade again. This is the shade La Costa. Look at how pretty that is. In here it kind of looks a little bit yellow, but it's actually more of like a champagne pinky shimmer shade. And the next one is this gold shade. It is called El Malecón. And that one is super pretty and pigmented. Next up is this super pretty blue. It's like a darker teal blue. So gorgeous. I feel like this has more like reflects of glitter though because it's not as like smooth. Like you can kind of feel it, but it's so pretty. Look at that. All right, and then the final... Shimmer shade is called Celia, and it's more of a green. It's super pretty as well. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, so next we're gonna take the matte shades, and the first one is this yellowy orange color called Coco Taxi. It's kind of powdery at first, like, and I don't know how it would be on the eye, but it like takes a little bit to get on my skin. The next we have Tropico. And this is more of like like a burnt orange super pretty as well it's kind of like a like a brick almost super pretty and then these four shades you can actually use wet or dry okay so next up is this really pretty it's like kind of like a purpley maroony browny red shade it's called it's called guantanamera i believe i don't know if i'm butchering these names so that's that one kind of looks like a rainbow it's really pretty i really love the vibrancy of all of these colors it's so nice and i i just feel like they're super versatile and then they also added or she also added this brown color called cafecito cafecito which is really pretty as well. Isn't that nice? How gorgeous. 
Okay, and then these are the shades with a spotlight on them. Look at that gorgeous turquoise, and I love that green. The shimmers are so beautiful in this palette. I just, I can't, like, amazing. And I love that orange yeah, shade as well. This is such a pretty palette. And I love, honestly, I love this. It kind of reminds me of, like, a little notebook. Just, like, how it opens up like this, and I think it's super cute. Like, obviously, I always like when there's a mirror, just because then you can, you know, be going like this. But I think it's super cute how she did it actually, like, reverse. Like, most palettes are this way, you know, where they open up and blah. But this is actually super cute. And I just love the whole vibe. I love all the colors. I think all the shadows are super pretty. And, yeah. I think my favorite is, obviously, I love these two. But I can't wait to play with all of them, honestly. I think it's such a pretty palette. So pretty. So congratulations on this. All right, but yeah, that is this whole boxy charm on or like, you know, review. I think all of the products are super awesome. I know this is probably one of the most um, anticipated, I think, like releases for BoxyCharm. But it, uh, it is so worth the money. Like, all of this stuff together, I'm going to put, you know, a total, whatever it is, because I haven't, you know, edited it up yet. But that is the total, wherever, whatever side, is the total of all of these things that they would be individually. And I paid $21. I don't know how they can do that, but that's what it is um if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up i do plan on doing more boxycharm videos and i do plan on using all of this pro these products or at least most of them all in one in my next actual like probably makeup tutorial um so yeah and i just got my july box i have to go pick it up because i sent it to my mom and dad's house because i'm actually going to be moving out of this apartment pretty quickly here um, so I'm going to also be doing a review on that one and I cannot wait. I was super impressed by this, this, uh, months or last months because it's already the middle of July. How is summer going so fast? But yeah, so I'm super impressed by the last month's box. So I cannot wait to open up my July one. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it. I already said this, but please give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe and please turn on those notifications. So whenever I do post, you can, you know, scoot on over here if you want to. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much again. And I hope you guys have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Um, and yeah, thanks. Oh, and please leave any nice comments, nice ones down below. Thanks guys. Bye.